And I don't blame him, although I do. So when you buy a TV from the manufacturer, when you go to Best Buy, what these companies do to trick you is they have their own little lizard video that they play. You know, it's a lizard on a leaf and it's zoomed in and it's fucking there's like beautiful. There's a what, rain droplet. A rain droplet. It's fucking lizard on a leaf and they're showing you how beautiful it is. And every TV there is set to this true motion thing. So when you buy a TV from Best Buy or one of these places you get at home, it's automatically set to this function. God knows why. I could understand why they'd set it to this function in the store because maybe if you're cruising TVs and you see this and they have their special Blu-ray fucking thing they're playing, it looks better. But for when you're watching anything else that You that's, absolutely should never be watching a movie with this setting. It or looks a show insane. under any circumstances. Even I would say fuck, don't even watch sports on this setting. It's not natural. I wish I could explain it to you. There's no way for me to show you this. And some people just don't. I went over to my sister yeah, and her this boyfriend's is what we're getting house into. at Christmas, and I they turn on the TV to start watching something, and I go, <gasps> what's wrong with and, TV? Do you even see it? They had no idea what I was talking about. They both so, went, what do you mean? We have a problem here. There are a certain sector of people that can't see true TV, and I feel those people need to be killed. Well. This is how we divide our people and find out who's here and who's not. You know, there are people who can't see style. There are people who can't see art. There are people who can't. They don't know. Like, there are some people, most people on the Internet, they can't tell that, like, Brothers in Cursive has terrible video. They just don't see a difference. Like, there are some people who look at our video and... um and kill Tony, and to them that looks the same. It's just they two can't videos. see it. And I'm blown away by this. I'm blown away by how come some people can't tell. Now, this true TV setting, I can't watch a second of TV with it on. When it's on, I go, oh my God, you got true TV on, turn that off. And usually people go, oh, I didn't even know. I remember when I was in high school or something, I went over to a friend's house and I was like, what is with your TV? Yeah. What's wrong with this? And nobody knew what I was no talking one about. Knows. And I never, I thought it was just different kinds of TVs that exactly. fucked up. And then you are the one who taught me that it was a setting. Yeah. And now you can't not see it. And, uh, and, and you're, um, and you're perplexed, right, by I mean, the people who don't care. You should be able to tell instantly. It's Shouldn't so you be like clear. if? And if you think that it's not something that can be changed, return your TV. I know. This looks awful. So Joe Rogan has been watching for several years. Look at this stupid idiot, and now he's embarrassed. And you should be because if Brian Redband notices something before you, you're fucked. It's loud enough now. All right, uh, let's watch the rest of this. What's that? No, we never really watch videos. Yeah, it looks normal to me. Really? That, that looks like a soap opera to you? Yeah. The, and imagine like, you ask Joey Diaz. Joey, what do you think? Dog, I can't, I can't even think about my own dick right now. Check the fuck. He don't know. He's been spraying Ozman. Yeah, right eyes. into his <laughs> eyes. He thinks it's clear eyes. William Got Ozeman. that creepy look yeah. where... It... Oh, wait. So here's stupid. Look at Joe Rogan trying to figure this out. Here, this gets really funny. Do you notice that? No, we never really watch videos. Yeah, it looks normal to me. Really? That, that looks like a soap opera to you? Yeah, the, it's that, got that creepy look where it looks oh. like there's no jiggle in the camera and everyone, it's like there's just tripods everywhere. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I would have never known if you didn't point it yeah. out. The only thing Red Band should notice before you is a blooming onion coming out of the kitchen. Very good. Look at this guy. So confused. And when he gets confused, he hits. He chokes. And like... Would uh, Rogan know the difference between like seeing a movie in IMAX, or like would he notice the difference between like a? Does he know like the difference between HD and a drawing? Like you can clearly people talk about other kinds of different video formats, but this they can't tell. That's what I want to know, and I feel like I'm I've had it with people who just can't see things anymore. You know, like why are you even here? So can he tell the difference between a comic strip and a feature film? Can he tell the difference between a cartoon and live action? <laughs> can he I tell mean, the difference? It's as obvious as the difference between I a cartoon. I know. Like within one second of it being on, I go, what's wrong? The TV's off. 
look at him. And he's running our country? I refuse. He gets a hundred mil. Monkey don't know, they say. All right, let's hear some more. Tripods everywhere. Uh, really? Yeah. He gets a hundred mil. Yeah, that's the thing. Does he need a hundred million dollars? I think this is the problem. When someone is vastly overpaid for what they do, we start going, no, no, no. Does he need a hundred million? Does... You know, and I feel the same way about musicians, you know, who are complaining that they're not making $20 million per fart. Do you need that much to make a song? Do you need $100 million plus to be Joe Rogan? And it's like, how is about it this? deserved? If Taylor Swift is the hugest artist and she can just make however many sales the hugest artist makes, but they can't just do that. She has to sell eight different yeah. deluxe editions and make eight times what yeah. the hugest artist makes. And Joe is the hugest podcaster. Yeah. Can't he just make the, the ton of money that the hugest podcaster makes? Why does it have to be exactly a hundred million? It gets to a point where you're hoarding- it puts people off. This is what happens when somebody is overpaid for what they do. You start going, you're hoarding. You're now like other people could use that. It's hard to explain, but it's like you don't need no hundred million for sitting there being a dummy. You know, but of course, who could turn it down? So who could turn it down? But I think that's why people are going to start getting upset because you watch this lazy, stupid ass idiot and you're being paid and you're being you know, told how amazing you are, but you're stupider than me. You know, and it, it doesn't sit well with people.